Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to talk about the different uses of the verb run. It's used in a lot of different ways, so let's get started. We use the verb run when we talk about a river. You can say the river flows into the ocean, or you can say the river runs into the ocean. It's the same idea. It runs right through it. Where was I found? My father said the river runs in one direction, so it must come from someplace and go to someplace. But he the river runs at 17 miles an hour, senor. And the river runs through it. Let's practice. Does the river run into the ocean? That's right. The river runs into the ocean. And we use the verb run in this case when we talk about your nose and mucus. We don't usually say mucus. And we have another word, snot. And that word is gross, so we don't use that word either. We say your nose is running. That's the best way to say it. Don't talk about mucus and don't talk about snot. Use the verb run. Example, his nose is running. He needs a tissue. Every skinned knee and runny nose was treated as if it were life-threatening. My nose is running. All right. Jenny's still got a runny nose. Yeah, the runny nose and the sore throat, all that. You think it's normal for us to go to the hospital with a runny nose and come home with a body bag? Go away, your nose is running. No. Wow. Not exactly blood. It was gore hanging there like a runny nose. Let's practice. Is his nose running? That's right, his nose is running. Does he need a tissue? That's right, he needs a tissue. We also use the verb run with late, run late, or running late. It means you're in a hurry. You're not late yet, but you're in a hurry because you might be late in the future. We say running late. Example, he's running late. He needs to hurry up. Because he's in a hurry, we say he's running late. Okay. So, when you run late, Quentin. Yes. Erica? Actually, I'm running late for work. Can I? Oh, I'm running late for work, but it was great to see you, Kate. And You may be running late. She was running late, and we couldn't turn around. That senior bus was running late, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Inspector. I cannot be of more assistance. But I am running late for an appointment. No, I was running late for the first break-in. I wasn't quite... I'm gonna grab these. Gotta get on. Running late. They're right on time, and I'm running late. Nothing. I'm just I'm running late for a meeting with Miss Havisham. Oh, I am running late for a meeting with a lawyer. I... Running late for your big show? We do that. We're late. I don't run late. God, I gotta. No, I gotta go. I'm running late for work. I gotta go. Let's practice. Is he running late? That's right. He's running late. Does he need to hurry up? That's right, he needs to hurry up. Is he in a hurry? That's right, he's in a hurry. We also use the verb run in this situation. When someone is trying to get elected to office, president, governor, senator, something like that, that's called office. They're trying to get elected to office. So we say they're running for office. I should have been a doctor, a lawyer, or run for office. It's my tradition to run for office. Don't. Maybe I should run for office and you could run for me. That's why you shouldn't run for office. Bimbo eruption. But the issue is whether you want to run a rehabilitation center or whether you want to run for office again. Run in the present, in the past, ran. I can say he ran for office and he lost. Or I can say he ran for president. He ran for governor. He ran for senator. That's in the past. And after a few years, it was Dick's turn to run for president. I might even run for president. Look at this. He's got the balls to run for president of the Teamsters. Look. Well, the guy wants to run for president. Senator, do you still intend to run for president? You just woke up this morning and suddenly decided to run for president? I want to run for governor. Yeah, we'll give a D there. Three. Should women run for president of the United States? I need you to run for governor. As a springboard to run for governor. You should run for governor. Oh, too dangerous. When you run for president? Of 326, you're gonna win. Sure, I'll keep you company. I'll run for senator. That's why I want you to run for president of local 326. Let's practice. Is he running for office? That's right, he's running for office. Is he running for president? That's right, he's running for president. Let's practice in the past. Did he run for office? 
That's right. He ran for office. Did he run for president? That's right. He ran for president, but he lost. We also use run in this case. If you don't stop at a red light, we say you run the red light. We're about to run a red light. What happens if they run a red light? It'll trip the brakes. My truck didn't run a red light. You made it happen. Hang on. We're going to run a red light. Or if you don't stop at a stop sign, you can run a stop sign. A car is about to run a stop sign. Run. Not run a stop sign. It's against the law and you might get a ticket. So don't run any red lights and don't run any stop signs. You have to stop. So I can say, running a red light is illegal. Running a stop sign is illegal. Let's practice. Is running a red light illegal? That's right. Running a red light is illegal. Is running a stop sign illegal? That's right. Running a stop sign is illegal. Let's practice in the past. He ran a red light. Let's practice. Did he run a red light? That's right. He ran a red light. And he got a ticket. That's right. He got a ticket. He got a ticket for running a red light. I just, I was texting at a stoplight once and I got a ticket for $400, so. I swear, the dealer said that I would get a ticket for no reason. Let's practice. Did he get a ticket for running a red light? That's right, he got a ticket for running a red light. Now let's talk about a stop sign. Did he run a stop sign? That's right, he ran a stop sign. And did he get a ticket for running a stop sign? That's right, he got a ticket for running a stop sign. You can also run a business. A person runs a business. That means they take care of everything, they manage it. They're the boss. They're the manager. They run the business. I am trying to run a business here. I'm running a business here. Is white guilt supposed to make me forget I'm running a business? You're running a business, Max. I run a business, okay? Easy. That's no way to run a business. Uh-uh. I'm running a business here. How do you look, you wife? Actually, we're running a business here. This isn't your personal... Are you sure you've received the proper advice to run a business? Come on, Ben. I run a business here, man. You know... I'm, I'm running a business, and I'm, I'm just earning a living. All that matters, I'm running a business here. Don't they know that I'm trying to run a business here? No, I'm trying to run a business here. You Example, he's the boss, and he has to run the business. He has to take care of it and manage it, so I use the verb run. He's the boss, and he has to run the business. Let's practice. Is he the boss? That's right, he's the boss. Does he have to run the business? That's right, he has to run the business. I can say he has a business to run. He's very busy. He doesn't have time to talk because he has a business to run. Let's practice. Is he very busy? That's right, he's very busy. Does he have time to talk? That's right, he doesn't have time to talk. Why? Does he have a business to run? That's right, he has a business to run. And I can use the verb run when talking about a car. If I say the car is running, that means the motor is turning. The car is not moving, but the motor is turning. We say the motor is running, or the car is running. If your car is running good, take it to Jiffy Lou, and they offer Pennzoil. I charge. What, do you think this car runs on God's own methane? <laughs> car runs fine, Matt. Car runs fine without one. The car is running good. Let's practice. Is the car running? That's right, the car is running. Is the motor running? That's right, the motor is running. And we can say this about any kind of machine. Your refrigerator is running. We can talk about any machine that's operating and say the machine is running. And what if you don't turn off the car? What if you leave the car running? Then that's what we say. She got out of the car, and she left the keys in, and the motor was still turning. So we say the car was running. She left the car running. Okay. Okay, we'll leave the car running. I left the car running, so I just want to come over. Didn't you leave the car running? Uh-huh, yes. Let's practice. Did she leave the car running? That's right, she left the car running. Someone might steal her car. 
So remember, you can use the verb run to talk about many different things. These are not all of the examples, but these are the most common ones. So if you're still a little confused, watch the video again and keep practicing. Thank you for practicing with me today, and if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.